Hello everyone, it's going to be a very very quick video and welcome to Kerbal Space Program How to create your own custom flags. Now this is gonna, like I said, it's gonna be real quick So let's, let's dive right in. This right here is a custom flag. I drew this, right? It's uh, for the, 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 what the fuck is this called? Star Mule. Okay, so this is a Star Mule. Basically just a big old fuel tug and it launches with the second. Anyway, this is not about uh, a career mode ships. It is about custom flags, right? So when you click on a flag, you hit set flag, and then you see all these cool little custom flags every time you watch one of my videos that I go through and stuff, right? Well, we still keep, you know, some of the stuff that, you know, the, the, the stock shit that comes with it, but uh, I have like escape pods, cool little dragons, and all that jazz. How do I make them? I get asked this a lot. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and show you just how I make them. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this right now as soon as I gather some brain power. And okay, so it's paint 3D. Okay, and uh, of course you can't see it because my monitor is crap. Gotcha. All right, here we go. So I use paint 3D, and paint 3D I know comes with Windows 10. Is that recording right? Yes. What, what the fuck? Whoa, and so, oh, okay, well, uh. Uh, they're gonna fix that. <laughs> Go away. So, um, I sure hope that's still recording. Now, Paint 3D comes with Windows 10. Um, it also comes with Windows 11. If you don't have it, there's somewhere where you can download it off of Microsoft. Okay? It's like an app or something of that nature. Anyway, this is what I use to make custom flags. Alright, so I go ahead and I... Let's click new, right? And you want to get like a... Uh, and you hit the canvas up here and you make sure your canvas is transparent canvas come down here and just I'm, we're just going to shrink it a little bit to give it that uh, flag diameter now in ksp if the flag is too big too many pixels it will not show up you could you can take once you've saved this file and throw it through it throw it what the fuck threw it into the ksp folder for flags it will not show up it'll be in the flag folder but it'll not show up in the game because the, the file is too big remember that okay so if you make a flag and you put it in the file folder and it doesn't show up it's because it's too big go back and make it smaller now what we're gonna do is also oh oh also also if you make like like say you make this thing like a perfect square and you put a picture in it ksp will automatically once you put the once you save the file and put it into the flags folder in under ksp it will automatically squish it down to this. So your beautiful picture like this will suddenly get squished to the flag diameter. Remember that, okay? So we wanna to try to get it about the right flag diameter uh, if possible. Now sometimes what you can do also is you can go into KSP like this, Windows, fucking Windows, okay, KSP, uh, the active one, and nah, then nah, nah, there's a lot. Game data. Okay, and this is all the pretty mods. It's underneath the description if you're interested in the kind of mods I use. Click squad, then we go to flags. Here is all the flags. Now, the original flags is is nowhere to be fucking found. Uh, so anyway, um, there's this. This I believe was an original flag. What you can do is you can take an original flag if you're not too sure about diameters and everything. Take the original flag, uh, right click on it, open with, well this is the Windows 11, so it's probably different for Windows 12 or if some, you know, some of you are probably still on Windows 7. Open it with the Paint 3D, right? This is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and hit text. I'm going to show you a really cool thing we can do with the, you know, use this enterprise, NCC, whatever, all the flags they do for that. I use 3D text, right? Click on 3D, make sure it's a somewhat decent size, right? Click, and then you can start typing. Perfect, right? If you, well, let's make something a little, a little better, right? Uh, let's make a uh, Starbucks, right? Starbucks, it was one of our first SSTOs in career mode. Boom, there it is, and it is 3D. Isn't that cool? Okay, so you have a 3D text now. You can do whatever you want with it. You can make it bigger, you can stretch it out, and it won't lose any pixels because it's 3D. It's pretty cool. Now, the thing about this is, of course, when I first started, I clicked the Canvas button and made sure that Transparent Canvas. This allows you to have a transparent flag. 
You save it as a PNG file, come up here, menu, save as, image, right? And it's going to ask you, are you good? And you say, yeah, and you hit save, right? It says PNG file up here. Make sure you make sure it says PNG file. And then, of course, I've got it so it goes directly into the flag folder whenever I want to. So we're not going to actually save it. Basically, that's how you make flags. Simple, right? Simple. Very simple stuff. Now, you're asking me how to, you know... Uh, like all these different flags, uh, let's, let's open, sorry, don't save. Let's open, like, like these flags I got from off the internet. Uh, what I mean is I got the, I went onto the internet, right? You go onto the internet and then I, can I'm on, my internet's a little slow. There we go. And then I go like, uh, Space Force, right? In order to get the, uh, Space Force logo, right? Okay, so there we go. We got Space Force logo, right? Images and all these cool space, what the? Fuck is that? When did Egypt get into the Space Force? What the? <clears throat> anyway, so this is how I get my cool. That's actually a cool image. Not gonna lie, <laughs> that might be on one of my SSTOs later. <laughs> so, yes, US Air Force, all this stuff. You could take it, and for Windows 11, all you gotta do is hit Print Screen, right? And then you can select whatever you want to do. It probably does the same thing for Windows 10 as well but we can go ahead and we can do that we can pick the picture da, 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 and then click on the thing uh open with 3d paint and then oh wow that's really small but i would work with it right i'd get a bigger more detailed one and i'd turn that into a flag and cool thing about it too if you have like an image like this you can hit magic select right click and the computer program click done excuse me and the computer program will try to find out what it is you want to keep in your little selection. You can add stuff, like if it accidentally blots something out that you didn't want, or you can erase stuff that you don't, you know, think you want, or you know, it it accidentally selected and you don't want it, right? You can go in here and just I don't want this black part right here, so boom. Of course we want that, so we undo. But anyway, so we hit done, right? And it takes this image out. Okay, then we can go into our canvas, hit select transparent canvas. We'll go into our brushes, hit our eraser, make it really big, and then we'll erase it. Then we can go here to select button, click on here, and boom, instant transparent symbol. We save that at PNG inside the flag folder, and ba da da ba ba boom, you've got something kind of like this. Wow, this is uh, sluggish. Like this, you hit set flag, and of course it was kind of triangular, right? So it's one of my, like this one. Bam! There she goes. Transparent. It's exactly what I did, okay? Of course, if you don't want transparent, you can do all kinds of backgrounds, but we'll go for transparent. So there you go. That's how I make my flags, okay? So hopefully this helps you out. If you don't have Windows 10 or 11, or you don't have the ability to download uh, Paint 3D, I can't help you. But if you do have Paint 3D, it's a beautiful game changer when it comes to uh, custom flags for uh, KSP. Like I said, once you get, once you save your flag stuff, it's it's wherever you keep the game file. So <clears throat> for me personally, I don't have it on Steam because I've had this game before Steam came out. So. I click on my game file, I go into it, you see it like game data, blah, 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 right? Click on the game data, you see all of your uh, supposed mods and whatnot. Find squad, click on squad, and then you find flags, click on flags, and boom. All your flags, you just go ahead and put all your shit in there. Alright? Easy. Simple. Done. I hope this helped a lot of people. Thank you so much for watching this quick, very quick, dirty tutorial. Very dirty. Um, very little editing. But love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, please like. And if you really, really liked it, uh, you can consider subscribing or something. And then, and then we have, a, we have a, a membership program right here. This membership program right here. If you're interested, if you become a member, we get cool emojis and badges and stuff. Yeah, I completely forgot to add all that in there before I ended the video. But anyway, love you all. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> Holy shit. This is going to get so little views. Yeah. Yeah.